So Euphoria Season 2 has just ended and I am absolutely sure that everyone watching this video knows exactly what I'm talking about. It is, it was the biggest thing on anything for its entire run and I think it's well deserved. This season was definitely way crazier than the first season into this series. This is just a series where I like to talk about things that I just finished. Now, I might be a little bit biased as I am a Euphoria super fan. Ever since season one, I just felt something different about the show. I think the director, the creator, um, I forget his name, but he is absolutely incredible. If you didn't know that this story is um, a product of his own life, you know, he turned his own experiences with uh, drug abuse and things like that into art, into story. Um, and I think the direction and the storyboarding, the writing, the casting, everything about this show is just blows me away every time I watch a new episode. And I think this season was so big because it was able to take what was introduced in the first season and just bring it to new heights, you know? I do see some criticisms now and then about uh, show being a little bit too mature, show having too much sexual, too just too mature, too much uh, nudity. I see stuff like that. It doesn't bother me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if it's too mature for you, then, then don't watch it. Probably the only criticism that I had for the season or for the show in general was definitely the fact that, you know, this this is not a high school. Like, if we're being realistic, if we're keeping a stack thousand, you know what I'm saying? This is not a high school, you know? A lot of things, especially this season, this season definitely took the maturity levels and just, you know, stuff that goes on in, in high school to new heights, you know what I'm saying? I, I do think that everything that happens in the show, even this season, has happened in high school i think the point of this show is it's supposed to be a culmination of extremes and so i'm not necessarily mad at it but you know it's just kind of it suspends you know i feel like you have to suspend disbelief a bit when you do picture that this is supposed to be a high school so i definitely agree with the people that say maybe this should have been set in a college environment i definitely feel like a lot of it would be a lot more realistic if it had been set in a college environment but with that being my only criticism out the way i would just like to applaud all of the actors this season the casting is just it, it just blows me it blows me away every time you know some of these uh some of this the cast for this show was not picked up off the street but picked up off the street you know what i'm saying i think fezco was uh had never acted before you know some of the actors had never acted there was a, a um adult film star in this season who was great you know and it euphoria's writing and characters and all of it, it just I, I love every single character despite all of their flaws you know what i'm saying and i think that's really hard to do with the show for me to say that i love every single character in their own way even though they're you know some of them are even you know nate is probably one of the most messed up people i have ever witnessed you know what i'm saying he's a horrible human being but this season really tried to humanize him and i liked him in the first season you know what i'm saying regardless of you know if you separate if you're able to separate the things that he's done you know i i understand him as a person and as a character you know what i'm saying and i think this season did a decent job of trying to humanize him but you know it, it's just as a lot of people have been saying, you know, after seeing what he has done and the type of person that he actually is, you know, it's not like it tries to tell you. They literally tell you in the show, you know, no, I'm not turning into a good good guy now. But, you know, regardless of what people do, perspectives, there's different perspectives to have on each character. You know, Fesco is a character that, you know, the, his entire character is a, a person who is not necessarily a bad guy but is in the position to have to do bad things all the time you know and um rue was incredible this episode zendaya blew me away with her performance at the the first episode um the first couple of episodes actually um hunter shaffer uh dominic Big, like they they were all just incredible you know i think the story was able to build on um what was introduced in the first season with rue you know she relapsed in the first episode and now she is facing the consequences of drug abuse 
and I think Euphoria does a great job in showing us things that are just not tackled enough in shows, in media today, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the show gets related to Degrassi a lot, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. I definitely don't think it is Degrassi 2. They are very different, <laughs> but you know, I think these shows are just important. These, these forms of media are important for youth and people out there that just don't, you know, experience the craziness before they try it for themselves, you know? So yeah, uh, season was incredible. Um, I am stoked for season three, absolutely. Uh, without going into spoilers, Sydney Sweeney absolutely also was incredible. I believe that she definitely carried these this season. Her performances were just it, like super convincing and impressive every single time. Um, I think Ethan, um, Ethan's actor, I forget his name, was incredible. Just another incredible performance, you know, the uh, the play. Um, I think he he carried that. He carried that episode. Like, that, it was crazy, bro. Like, you know, he was extremely, I'm so, super glad that they gave him something like that to do, you know, because now he's not with, you know, because of what happened in this season, you know, we're not really sure what they're going to do with this character. So I'm glad he had something to do that but that was that great in the finale um the finale was great i, I know i saw a pe couple of people say it wasn't that good because I, I feel like a lot of people have a hard time just appreciating the art behind a story um a, a lot of people probably expected some like super crazy finale like super action packed you know something just nutty and crazy and i i think that the finale absolutely delivered in many ways the storyboarding the directing the each scene each shot is so impressive how they're able to tell a story with each frame <laughs> each frame either you could screenshot each frame throughout the show and probably tells its own story you know and that's like everything about it is just super impressive i'm excited for season three but with that being said for euphoria season two this is this is hard, but I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of ten, which is very, very high um, for me. Probably not gonna see a rating like that again in the near future um, for anything, but uh, I definitely do think that it deserves it. It was, it's, it's just that good. If you don't believe me, please go check it out. Let me know what you guys thought of uh, this season in the comments down below, and hopefully you guys enjoy this series because I. If I do end up making one of these for everything that I have to talk about in the next couple of weeks, there will be a lot of these coming uh, pretty soon. I know I've been slacking a little bit. I've been focused on some other stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely, you know, this is home. This is where I'll always return. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And Feels like you fell right on my head. Gave you away to the wind I hope it was worth it in the end You and my guitar